with the very latest. Now to a story you'll only see on WDSU. A mother is turning her tragedy into triumph. Madison Brooks, an LSU student and North Shore native, died earlier this year after a night out. According to the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office, Brooks was raped before she was hit and killed by a car. Brooks had a blood alcohol limit four times the legal limit. WDSU reporter Adam Siddiqui has more in a story you'll only see right here on WDSU. For Ashley Boaster, it's been a long four months without her firstborn and best friend, Madison Brooks. Maddie was brave, she was strong, she was fearless. Madison's life was cut short in January after a night of drinking at Tigerland on LSU's campus. Police reports from the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office show Brooks was dropped off at a subdivision, then hit and killed by a car. Records show when she got to the hospital, her blood alcohol level was four times the legal limit. Four suspects are charged with raping Brooks moments before she was killed. And the bar Maddie spent her final moments at, temporarily losing their liquor license for serving alcohol to those under age. I see life now as two parts, the life I had before she died and the life that I'm living now. Her mother, Ashley, now starting the Madison Brooks Foundation. Um, we want to provide a scholarship for someone in need to advocate for the safety of young adults and to spread awareness for the gift of organ donation, which Maddie was able to donate her heart valves and her kidney. In light of the tragedy, Senator Beth Mizell is proposing the bill CARDUM, which stands for Create Alcohol Responsibility and Deterrence. This would ban anyone under the age of 21 entering Louisiana bars. I, I think to, to walk away from that without responding to all the errors that were made in, in the way the system worked that night would be irresponsible on our part. Mizell says she understands raising the age limit will create challenges with businesses, but she says she will fight to help save lives. You cannot say, oh, we're following the law and we care about young people who come into our bar and, and be totally irresponsible with the way that you serve. So It starts at the bar. How was she served that much? How did she get in this condition? It's if Maddie wouldn't have been there, none of this would have happened in the first place. Anam Siddiqui, WDSU News. Autumn, thank you. The Madison Brooks Foundation is holding one of its first events tomorrow night at LSU's Union Theater. Speakers will address topics like sexual assaults and consent. You'll find more information about this on our website, WDSU.com and the WDSU mobile app. Police say the investigation into her death remains ongoing. All right, give you a live look outside right now.